So as promised, I'm gonna show you how to take a Black Bay 58 and make it look near new. Scotch Bright pads and a Cape Cod cloth. It's as simple as that. The beauty of the case on the Black Bay 58 is that the side is polished. I know some people don't like it because it scratches up easily, but that also means that it's polished out easily. So I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about right now. thing is, when you can get them, you get them all beat up and scratched up. Like this one's all scratched on the side. See that? And this is all scratched here everywhere. Okay, so here we go. The first thing that I did was I took some Dawn dishwashing liquid and a toothbrush. Use Dawn, make sure it's obviously it's, the crown is closed and this is all wet. Only two things you're gonna need really. I mean, aside from that toothbrush and some dishwashing soap, which you should have is the all important Cape Cod cloth. So it comes in these, these type of things and you pull it out and I cut them in strips like this. I cut it like that and it's still in the plastic, it's greasy. So what I do is I take it out and I kind of wrap it around my finger like this. And then I just go back and forth. Okay, you get the idea. I'm going to turn it off and come back in five minutes. Okay, to show you the other side. These guys' sides are usually harder to do. You don't have as much room to go back and forth in front of the crown. Okay, that's all the time I'm going to spend on it. So I'm going to keep it in 10 minutes and that's what I'll do. Uh, but if you spend a half hour and take your time, trust me, most of this watch will look brand new. That really will. So I'll stop here. Then what I do is I go wash it off in the sink again. Uh, just to get all this greasy stuff off. So I'll be right back. Okay, back again. All wet. Um, just dry it off a little. I won't even take a look at that polish yet. Um, and then I'll just do this bracelet really quick. Um, you know, the right way to do it is take the bracelet off. Come on. But I'm not going to do that because I said 10 minutes. So... The big thing is usually the swirl on the, on here. That's the big deal. So I'm using the light gray is one of the very, very lightest. I think it's like a thousand grit or some. This is the next one up. So this will take a little longer, but it'll come out perfect, it will. And the other thing is, this is what I usually do. I shouldn't show you the wrong way. I go one direction and I press like that. Look at that already. One direction. It's pretty easy when it's the clasp because the clasp has a beginning and an end. So I switch sides. Let's do this. Turn it around. So you know what? I'm going to call it. That's it. That's all. Let's see what we got. Okay. A live unveiling. Totally incredible. Unbelievable. So let's say you just bought this for, what, $22.50. It was all scratched up, you know. And then you just buff it out. Let's see what we got. Okay. Let's see what we got. The other side. Mm -hmm. Look at this. I can't focus. Look at that. Ten minutes. Oh, there's a couple of little ones in there. Scratches, I see. For the most part, they're gone. Bracelet. Look at the bracelet. Look at that. Look at that. Crazy, right? 10 minutes, scotch Bright pad, Cape Cod cloth. Beautiful. Anyway, that's how you can get uh, a Tudor 
a lot cheaper. I really don't mind. I love polished sides and I love brushed um, bracelets. I can really bring them back. Pretty good. You know, if you spend an hour or a half hour or more or something, you can get it to perfect, really. It's just not hard. So it's a clean watch. I mean, I would have done it differently. I take the bracelet off, even clean in there. Uh, but that essentially, that's it. I mean, what a great deal, right? This is a watch. And as I said before, it doesn't matter. It's not, you know, a 1967 Submariner or something like that. It's not going to lose value and all this because you polish the sides. It's not that kind of watch. So there you go. You got a watch. It's almost like new and you paid $22.50 for it or so. So there you go. Thanks so much for watching. Let's go back up top. Thanks. So there you go. It looks great. It looks almost new and it takes literally, as you saw, just a few minutes to get it like that. You know, some people say, oh my God, you know, you shouldn't polish a watch because it's going to lower the value. Listen, this is not a vintage Rolex. It doesn't matter. If you want to keep your watch looking nice and you want to polish it, go ahead and do it. If you want to brush the bracelet, go ahead and do it. It doesn't matter. It's not that type of watch. It's not a collectible watch, so you don't have to worry about it. Anyway, I hope this helped and thanks so much for watching. Shoo-ba-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo